YouTube. What's the righteous word? It's your boy Gangland Neem, aka Neeman. I be for the E. Golly. I don't know y'all. Remember that. I need y'all to remember that. Niggas be in the comments saying like, hey, you, uh, I don't know you, bro. None of y'all. Anyway, um, so we about to get to this video of 600 um, being banned from the Avalons, being banned from the Atlantic Drive, Compton Crips. He can't mess with Compton ass TG no more is what I'm hearing. And then we go get to a video where it's looking like 600 is gracefully bowing out. He, he just about to tap out, you know what I'm saying? Because he has nobody on his side, like I told y'all before. Um, if this is your first time to the channel, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Please and thank you. I need that for the algorithm. If you go to the top of the page, hit that Instagram link. Follow me on Instagram. Shoot me any content y'all want me to react to in the DMs. But back to Fluff Joy. I'm pretty sure he's just gracefully bowing out because it's like, bro, you don't got nobody who's on this hall with you. It's just you, bro. Where's whack? Y'all niggas is whack 600. Where's whack, bro? Come on, where's whack at least to have your back, bruh? But anyway, we're gonna get to these clips at the all the way at the end. I got the actual footage from him at the park. And um, y'all could go through that if y'all want to see what's up. You feel me? Because I'm pretty sure that he's gonna delete that because none of these guys want any association with him. So for him to have the footage up on his page is kind of violation off top. Somebody in already told you they wanted it down. You feel me? But let's get into these clips. Hey, this Avalon Blue, man. First off, I want to tell my Avalon community, I apologize to my Avalon community for getting you unnecessary phone calls, bro. I apologize for getting y'all, getting these phone calls about this 600 BS yesterday. Man, I apologize, man. I mean, I'm doing a PC event yesterday at the park, bro. My hands are tired. I got charged for bro. I got caught up in the moment, bro. I don't know that dude, bro. I just met that dude for the first time. So... <laughs> He said, I don't know that dude. <laughs> from here on out, but this the shenanigans that he brought behind him, he is now banned from the Avalons. We don't need that bitch, brother. And my word on the street, be you appealing that shit that you showed us, big dog. So handle your business, bro. Please. You're not welcome to the Avalons. Nobody bring you the programs. Again, I apologize to the Avalon family, homie, for even getting y'all caught up in this bullshit. So again, big you. Bro, I apologize you even have your name in my mouth about some bullshit, bro. So <laughs> I think you said, <laughs> said Big you, I apologize even have your name in my mouth. <laughs> I think I think it's crazy that as a grown man, you have to get on here and do this, but I understand when you're a part of certain things that that's how it is. You did you did that public publicly with six hundred. So now you gotta get on here, show face. And do this publicly. You feel me? Even though I still feel like, you know, nigga could have just hit 600 jack. Because I'm sure you got his number after the whole thing. But, you know. I apologize, you homie. I ain't, no, I ain't big in the program, bro. I ain't, I ain't, uh, ain't nothing big about me not to apologize to a grown-ass man when you wrong. Avalon Blue wrong, bro. But even getting in that business. <laughs> hey, yeah. 600, you banned from Avalon. That's crazy. Nigga's grown as hell. He like he got grandchildren. That's wild to me. This nigga young though. I'm not that that was um Avalon Blue. I'm not sure who this dude is, but this fella is serious. You hear me? I don't, I don't know what his name is, but he's serious. He said you can't come over to Atlantic Drive. AD. Ugh. Compton STG, one of my favorite rappers. I can't lie to y'all. You steady coming up there, cuz my lokes macking down on me, cuz steady. Question me, got me steady saying who is you and all that. I don't even know you, bro, on QA Nation. So don't throw no land dry crib, don't know nothing, bro. I'm crib. Anything I do in land dry crib, cuz don't Shit. keep a land drive out your mouth, bro. On crib. TG is not tied to you. He's not a fuck with you. On crib. Nigga, my young nigga standing on business, cuz. On crib. He don't. Whatever the streets hollering, that's what cuz on, bro. He ain't doing that. You a content creator. Keep that content creator over there, cuz. We don't get in LA politics. I'm crib, nigga. They say you ain't good in your hood, nigga. If you ain't good in your own hood, nigga, you know you ain't good in mine on the set, nigga. So, yeah, like I just say, cuz, PSA, you stay over there where you at, bro. I'm Kim Engine. We're gonna stay where we at, cuz. Cool and doing us. I'm crib, cuz. We not, cuz. Don't do it, bro. Nigga said on Keyway Nation. I never heard that one. That's tight. Um, and now this is 600 after all that gracefully bowing out. 
I think we've reached the end of the Fluff Joy Chronicles. I'm sorry to all y'all who've been tapped in because y'all 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 like this, especially on my page. Y'all really be uh y'all you know <laughs> really be on this. And um yeah, I think this the end, bro. You know what I mean? And it's and it's good, I, I feel. Like, let's just end this with no bloodshed, nobody getting hurt or nothing. Gone and box. You know what I'm saying? And everybody going about their business. You feel me? Hey, what's up with it real quick? Listen, I was in the Avalanche yesterday. Uh, number one, I was invited. Shout out to Avalanche. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, when I was there, I was embraced. It was all love. So, like I say, I was invited up there. You know what I mean? And even though I was invited, I still made a few phone calls to even accept, accept the invite to make sure it's good. Once they figured out it was good, they had one condition. They say, yeah, you can pull up, just interview the homie. No problem, it's all good. Cause I meant to shed light on people, you know what I'm saying? And I share my profile with the streets, you know what I mean? So I get there, it's all love. Mind you, this ain't my interview. I didn't ask to be here, you know what I'm saying? I do the interview, you know what I'm saying? It's all love. The same guy who in the video and said, uh, I'm banned, was the same guy who walked me to my car, you know what I'm saying? Made sure I was straight when I was there, you know what I'm saying? Witnessed me get bumped up by the police in the city. Invited me back next day, you know what I'm saying? So, And I'm sure all that is true, but this is the thing, you feel me? This is what I told y'all about when bro went over there to the, um, to the um, Imperial Courts or whatever, you feel me? Like, you're doing this under a certain pretense, but you're not, like, really letting people know what you're trying to do here. You feel me? Again, you came to the park and, and brought up fake paperwork, bro. you talking about something that an officer said. There is no statement from Big U, bro, and you got to stop kicking that. I'm just saying. I thought it was cool. Like I said, I got people who, who I deal with who don't like Avalanche, you know what I'm saying? For whatever, whatever their politics is, you know what I'm saying? So I got to deal with that too. So like I said, I'm putting myself on the line, you know what I'm saying? This nigga bought a fresh A's hat to pull up over there in the Avalanche too. Nasty work, I'm just saying. That was fresh, like, oh, that was limited, all like, you had that. No, that was brand new. I seen the stickers under that joint. That's crazy. My life, everything, friendships, to pull up and shed light and share my platform for y'all, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I've never been to that park in my life, you know what I mean? So it's like, it's kind of like a slap in the face, like, damn, bro, it was just all cool. You ain't never seen me diss no gangsters. You ain't never seen me diss no trades, no east side, no nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even on that, bro. You know what I'm saying? I ain't on that. But like I say, they say I'm banned. That's cool. I mean, that's that's, that's not my part. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got the right to do what y'all want to do. It's all love. But like I say, shout out the ones, you know what I'm saying, who embraced me, you know what I'm saying, when I was there, and it was all love. And uh, it is what it is. As far as everybody else, it's kind of like, <laughs> it's kind of going too far. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you look at this whole stance I've been doing, it was one man I was going at, right? And now it kind of turned into a whole lot. You know what I mean? And I've really just been standing on what's right for the streets. You know what I'm saying? Just standing on what's right, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because the way I was raised, you don't do no telling, you know what I'm saying? Or you don't harbor nobody who's telling, bro. I ain't never told on nobody in my life. My name ain't on nobody. Paperwork never will be, you know what I'm saying? And it's kind of like I'm fighting the uphill battle, you know what I mean? Oh, word. So if I offended <laughs> anybody, you know what I'm saying, in this last year, man, <laughs> y'all got it, homie. That goes out to anybody. I'm not fighting the uphill battle, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm up here pressing the line like it's 1991, you know what I mean? Ain't nobody speaking up, you know what I'm saying? I done risked my life and risked my freedom, you know what I'm saying, for this thing, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not about to do it, homie, you know what I'm saying? When I see things turn the way they turn for the person who never told, you know what I'm saying? I'm not the one who told. And it just seemed like everybody against me, you know what I'm saying? For what reason? Whatever the reason is, homie, I'm going to step back. <laughs> I'm going to tap out. Y'all win. You know nice. what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to let y'all do y'all. I'm going to focus on what I've been focused on. You know what I'm saying? The boxing, the money, the workout, you know what I'm saying? The music, you know what I'm saying? As far as the streets, as far as people telling, I mean, it seemed like that, you know, a lot of people don't really care who telling. You know what I'm saying? It was fine. You know what I'm saying? It was fine. We got...
hey, for real, the average person don't care who telling, bro. I'm gonna just be real because the average person ain't doing crime, right? The average person ain't a gang member. You feel me? That's what I'm saying. You go to the YouTube streets and put all this in the YouTube streets. And again, it's the internet, bro. We really don't care. I'll be honest, me, me myself, I, I don't care because can't nair nigga tell on me. There's nothing I'm doing which you could where you could tell on me. So it's like I don't care about no snitch. I don't even live a, a certain way. Much like Fluff Joy says, I don't I don't live, I don't even live like that. So then why are we doing this? Why why is it so important for us to be like, oh, he's a rat? And there is no evidence again. It's crazy to risk your life on some hearsay because that's what that is. You talking about a statement from a police officer. Since when have we listened to what police say? I don't know. Some views, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, the people I'm doing it for <laughs> don't seem to really care. I mean, who who's really do y'all see? And mind you, I ain't told no lies on nobody. You know what I'm saying? Who really do y'all see that's backing me? That's like, you know what? 600 telling the truth. He's right. We got his back. Who do y'all see doing that? Because like I said, I'm pulling up in different sections, you know what I'm saying, by myself. You know what I mean? And you know what I'm saying? It's not like that, you know what I'm saying? You see people saying they got my back, you know what I'm saying? So instead of me fighting the uphill battle, screen record it and say 600 tapped out. You know what I mean? That's exactly what I'm going to do. 600 tapped out. We're going to leave it at that. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do me. And uh, yeah, like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to see y'all soon, though. That is, like I said, I, I like that. Because, yo, I mean, what, do you want somebody to, to try and chip at you or something before you stop? So for me, it's just like, I'm, I'm cool with that. Like, straight up. Like, it's all um, love and positivity, my boy. Like, why would you keep wanting to put yourself in harm's way? for for nothing essentially you know what i'm saying now this right here is the clip from um from him actually at uh south park with blue avalon and um if you got the time to, to peep this you're definitely gonna understand why bro apologized because i just feel like it was out of bounds even on camera to even be trying be discussing you with this man all that Avalon Blue seen what bro was doing on the internet and you still got in front of that camera and was, was, was talking with him and asking him stuff like, what's going on with you and Big U? Who even cares? Who even cares? You know what I'm saying? But, you know, that's how it be. People see that camera and be wanting to, you know, do they want to. How you doing? Huh? What's up with it? Listen, I'm pulling up at South Park, right? So I'm my nigga J.Y. Compton to pull up, right? I get here, probably about 40 or 50 crips surrounding me. Surrounding me and hit me with the, hey nigga, you talking about the grid program? Listen, like I explained to them, it's a lot of separation on my side. Our neighborhood. So we get a lot of separation, a lot of misinformation. And they don't even try to give us the information. But these niggas press me and what's going to really, really tell me how it go. So I'm going to let Big Bro explain to y'all some of the details. Hey, it's funny, too, how y'all be like Big Bro and Unk and all of that. It's hilarious to me. I watch Brick Baby do that 24-7. Brick Baby be like, yeah, that's my brother. Everybody, yo, goddamn brother. And it's like, look how cozy they are right here. But then in the other video, you know what I'm saying? Blue Avalon like, man, I just met him yesterday. Bro's playing a cold game. Just playing details, I'm just gonna, cause I don't know. Hey, you know, I'm a gang of this, you know what I'm saying? But I'm Avalon, you feel me? Now, I first thing I want to say, we don't do no snitching, you know what I mean? The real ones. I mean, we have the class that we call The main title is, we don't do no snitching because we're trying to protect the brand of the grid. Now, I'm not going to say, he might be some suckers in the mix. I'm not going to say there no suckers in the mix. But overall, I mean, we don't, we don't snitch on the police. With that, that phone that everybody's talking about, bro, we get the, the call after the fact. And when we go to the scene, homie, we don't go past the yellow tape. We go to the yellow tape. We get the information on who we heard, and we go to the hospital. We off the family video. So the snitching, I don't know. I just don't know where the snitch comes from. But like I say, for me, I'm doing events like this here, bro. So I don't gotta compromise myself 
by telling because I really can pull off what I can see I can do. So, so the question that we got, and like I said, it's a lack of communication, lack of information, whatever you want to call it. Like. Let's just say like, if it's a, a crime here, right? right? Right here, right? right. And the grid program is local or whatever. What's like the next step? Because from, I'm gonna tell you how, how we look at it and what I was told, and maybe you can clear it up for sure. So we was told that the grid is in, it's like a liaison for the law enforcement. So when, let's just say something happens right here, right? And I'm a grid worker. I'm able to get the information from the community. So the community is not seen talking to the police to protect whatever they got going. This is what we know, what we hear. So I can talk to the law enforcement, hey, this is what happened, whoop, whoop, whoop. Now, now, from the street perspective, that's why we saying it's the la Lazion, snitch type, rat type uh, organization. No, so not. maybe you can clear it up so, because so, we don't know. So, 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 so this is a, a crime happens here. Right. Oh, we don't do no telling. Right. So when the police even ask them about what happened, I don't know. Y'all need to bring out that way. Okay. So you know, they live, it's like a triangle. See that right there? It's comments like that. People behind the camera, they get in the camera later on and stuff. But it's comments like that. You know what I'm saying? Where it's violation, bro. You got other people speaking out their neck about this man on some shit where you don't even have no evidence for any of this, bro. You pulled up into other people hood to speak on this man, bro. That's crazy. I'm here, my homies. When, when the police goes a book, right. and I got dinner with my homies, right. I might need that to see the person like, hold on, man. The yeah. folks wrong, my nigga. Oh, you know, so I just don't live, bro. Don't ask me about no motherfucker. Right, 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 right. So, so right. because the nine times I tell them, I'm not there. So I don't know. And I'm not getting nobody there, bro. Because okay. a nigga who really outside, been in a relationship where you can sit up and tell us something. Right. My life's operating. Right. You want to swine and ride and put the two of here. You and that's bro explaining the grid program. I'm gonna put this um video up later just by itself, but I want to get through this. I want to get to this one part where he start uh reading his paperwork and y'all can see yourself because it's not paperwork. Then he says he he has the paperwork, you could Google it. No, you cannot. That's a lie. You feel me? But I'm gonna put this whole thing up later so y'all could just see it because I'm sure he's gonna take it down because they don't want this up. They don't they don't want no dealings with uh broski. No more. Tell cuz I'm never gonna mention cuz name again. Yo, car. So I said, bro, let cuz know. And he messed with documented rats. So when you associate him, so all facts with the grid, it just it takes a hold. You get what I'm saying? Niggas could just say facts and niggas just think it's facts. Like what? Now, now if you never told him no nigga before, you got grid, and your homies on the grid, they never told. Y'all can have a stance like, hold on, homie, I don't do no rap. They can't even defend themselves. You see what I'm saying? So, but you but see that, and also, the, the degrees of workers are different. Yeah. So the ones that they said that came to like, hell no, because they feel offended and they was coming up. Yeah. Everybody want to get a camera, but you feel the energy that they, they be want to talk to you for the whole ass time. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So, hey, man, I ain't gonna lie, man. I'm glad to see you, man. You know, I've been watching you all the time. I've been laughing. But, you know, at the same time. Now, pay attention. Blue Avalon just said, I'm happy to see you, though, man, because I be watching you all the time. So, bro, you was well aware of his haul. That's why that apology was due. I'm going to run that back for y'all. That's why that apology was due, bro. You can't get on camera and do stuff like that. He's smiling. He like it like, yeah, I'm a YouTuber. Dangerous YouTuber, boy. So, hey, man, I ain't going to lie, man. I'm glad to see you, man. Uh, I've been watching you all the time. I've been laughing. But, you know, at the same time, bro, you know, I just don't like to see you guys tear each other down. And I'm going to be real with you. And I don't know if I said this on record yet. Six months ago, in the midst of all this, Draws was going to one of my homies' spot in the hood, my big homie. He said, hey, where you at? 
I said, I'm right around the corner. What's up? He said, hey, John's about to come up here, bro. You on deck? I said, I'm right around the corner. What's up? What we doing? He said, I'm going to call you when you get up here. I said, bro, before I hang out, I said, bro, let cuz know we more powerful together than anything. Yeah, exactly. So we can squash it right now. It ain't got to go no further. So we'll give us he didn't want to squash it. What that nigga, cuz? You see what I'm saying? So it just, it just, he kept it going. Bro, you can't smut my name. You see the things I'm doing for the community. You can't just smut my name, run me through the mud, and then when you decide to be like, hey, yeah, tell homie we can piece it up, we gonna piece it up. That's not how things work, homie. And let me tell you a few more situations that I also ain't never said on record. Gang of my homies on reach. I said, man, y'all make this look bad, bro. What y'all doing? Y'all need to squash that shit? I said, bro, say no more. Tell cuz I'm never gonna mention cut name again. Your car, it's over. I'm done with it. What'd he do next day? Go on there talking crazy. Niggas from the PA call me and everything. Man, what's up? Man, I feel bad telling you to uh, cease fire on that shit. Honestly, bro, I said, bro, what's your woman do? I'm gonna let Linda keep talking about me. When he got his name, my name good. You know, I'm, so I'm gonna let Linda keep talking shit about me. Now, this is where, you know what I'm saying? This is why Blue Avalon apologized the way that he did because that was a sincere apology. But this is why. A little bit about the baby, you know, the, the thing last night, right? But I'm so I'm still a fan. So I'm so much watching watching my silly stuff. I didn't get to this. So I just want to know: Did the paperwork ever emerge? Like, I seen the talking. You want bit. you want to see it? I'm coming in. You know you can just Google. It. I want to hear that, homie, too, man. I'm in the restaurant. See y'all. You want me to stop the camera? No, keep oh. going. Hell no. So. Yeah, um, that's what I want. I'm interested. No, Big you. I'm a type of person. I, I'm, all, I'm all about facts. Yeah, it's you know, facts. I, I'm, I'm a fan nigga. You can pull your phone out, and I'm, and I'm going to go to Google with you. Okay? Because if a motherfucker ain't fucked up, man, he it's just Now, pay attention to what he starts reading off, because this is not a statement. Pay attention. It shouldn't be bad. It shouldn't so be out here like this. If you Google, you should have to deal with the bullshit. David Austin and, De and, and Eddie Wagner. Right? Can I get a water? Thirsty Mimi? Can I get you a water? Just Google it. Can I get a water? Service. This is Draws Appeal right here. What's the state shit, fair shit? State. It's fair shit to uh, possess a. Uh, Let you do it. Now, pay attention to what he just said. He said, This is Draws Appeal. This is Appeal. Y'all should know what that is. That's not paperwork, that's an appeal. Mr. Clean is sitting there reading like he got some information. It's nothing, yeah. bro. So, so I mean, I can't even say basically. I want you to read it before I get to saying basically. Okay, so here it go pop up. So, look at that. This is why. This is violation. This is why he gracefully bowed out. Look at my man's got a cannon. What's that? A seven D. My boy got the cannon to the phone, taking pictures and video. Of said paperwork. That's not even paperwork. Golly. Y'all play dangerous games, boy. When you Google it, this is Jaws Appeal. Okay, April 1st, 1994. Defendants were convicted of possession of control of substance. Uh, this nigga told me some shit from 94, y'all. Pay attention. Golly. Parentheses, cocaine, robbery, conspiracy, commit robbery. Okay? Now let's just get down to. I know how it goes. I'm a fan nigga. Right. 924. I mean, I, I, I'm just a robbery. So we we'll get to the statement part. Ain't no statement. Okay, it's coming. There we go. Right okay. here. So this case was appealed. Yeah, this, this was Jaws' appeal right here. Right. It's down here where it says. Okay. Here we go. Avalon Blue, you see how he's doing right there? He's in that camera, he's in that phone, he's very interested in Big U said paperwork. This is why you had to apologize, bro. Straight up. That's a big one. Oh, no, I, no, I think it's on four. Hold on. We passed it. Because I remember I was telling somebody. Here, go right here. Okay. Pay attention. Prosecutor did not impermissibly comment on Austin's that Big U. Uh, silence after reviewing the Miranda warning. So he read him his Miranda rights and bro stayed silent. That's what he just said. Pay attention. Deputy Hartman testified on direct examination that shortly after he arrested Austin, Big U, before he gave him Miranda warnings, Austin made a spontaneous statement. I should have never gone to work for Eddie. 
That was a statement he made. That is not a statement. Deputy Hartman said that Big U said that. That wasn't on nobody's record nowhere. He didn't sign a statement. It's not even any recorded proof of him saying that. Golly, that's crazy. And I understand why you got to gracefully bow out. You got to tap out, bro, because it's like, bro, this done gone too far for real. And it's like, what? I, I, I asked bro in his live a few times, what is it that you're trying to gain from this for real? Like, what are you looking to accomplish? Just out of sheer curiosity, because you see his haul and he's serious about it. No, nah, he's pulling up the thing. You think he got real paperwork there. That's wild. What are you trying to accomplish? That's crazy. But um, again, if this is your first time to the channel, please like, subscribe, comment, and share, please. And thank you. I need that for the algorithm. Um, Comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. I know y'all will. Um, I'm going to take this full clip and, and uh, post it separately so y'all could just see the whole thing and how it you know, plays out or whatever, but it's nasty work on everybody's part. I'm going to be honest. And I understand why Avalon Blue apologized because I mean, that was due, bro. You feel me? Politicking and somebody else's stuff you hear on camera is just all nasty work. But anyway, y'all tap in with your boy.